look how matchy we are. We're not that matchy, it's just grey shirts. And we both have baseball caps on. Anyways, it's our second day in Sheshuan. It's our free day on the tour. And it's like just past 10 a.m. or like 10.30 or so. And... Did you say Sichuan or Sichuan? Sichuan. I always say Sichuan, like Sichuan chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Sichuan, the blue city. Yeah. And we're about to head out now and go and explore the city. What are we doing today? Exploring the city. And then, what's our main thing? Oh, and then we're <laughs> climbing up to the Spanish mosque. Yeah, at sunset. You at guess? sunset, yeah. probably. The guide said, um, that we should be back at the hotel though before it gets dark so we have to leave a little bit like as soon as the sun starts setting we just, once we get our photos and stuff we gotta go mm. but yeah we'll be alright yeah we'll mm. we're gonna go out into the city is okay. that one cool? So this town's really pretty and stuff but it's built on a massive hill so everywhere we walk we're just like climbing so we're climbing the stairs up to the old Casbah and it's really steep up here so I'm sorry if I sound out of breath but we've climbed like mountains to get up here so at the Casbah and that means fortress in Arabic I think it is and this is the oldest and oldest building in Sichuan it was the first building built here and it was built in the 14th century and that's it with the beautiful orange trees at the front of it Gotta get some oranges today. Yeah, I want orange juice. Okay, let's keep going. Blue. Yeah, most of the buildings are painted blue. And the guide said because it's meant to keep the mosquitoes away. Apparently. I don't know how like accurate that is, but And it's just like lots of laneways of blue buildings. It makes it really hard to get around because everything's blue. It looks awesome. But it does look awesome. So we were walking along past all these shops and this guy stopped us and he was like talking to us and he made us go into his shop and gave us tea and he was like, he, he owned a rug shop and he was showing us all the rugs and he's like, you know, do you like it and all these things and we are like, oh yeah, that's nice. And he's like, oh, you know, I'll give you a good price and all these things and oh, I feel so bad because we're in there for so long but we didn't want anything. Yeah. And he was willing to... Um, Offer, offer the rugs so cheap, like ridiculously cheap. And these are amazing rugs. They're handmade, and they take like months to make and all these things. And but we didn't want a rug. No, because we don't have yeah. anywhere to put it and all these things. To be fair, he wasn't that pushy about it. He was quite nice, but he had a really good business strategy. Yeah, he did. Like get you in for tea and then, mm -hmm. and then try to sell a rug. Bad. Yeah, make you feel bad, but he. Yeah, if you if you were just firm and just said no, he mm -hmm. end, ended up just being okay. Yeah, so we didn't buy a rug. No, but well, we came pretty close. Yeah, <laughs> they were nice, but we didn't. We don't no. want a rug. Not right now. Mm. There's stray cats all over the city, but they're so cute. So this seems to be the Instagram spot. We just had to wait in line to get the photos here. <laughs> There's a like line of people behind us. You gotta like take quick snaps and then move on. Hello, husky. He's coming to us. I want to pet him, but I don't know if he's like clean and stuff. God, it's so cute. He's gonna walk on the little fence thing on the wall. <laughs> We're a little bit lost. We're just walking around. We're trying to find the main square now. But everywhere we go, there's like all these cool little spots to take photos and all these cool doorways. And our theory is if we keep heading down, we'll eventually go down to the main square because. Keith was saying that the city's like built up and yeah because we want to do the walk up to the mosque soon and we don't know how to find that except except we didn't know the way from our hotel <laughs> we never did the hat thing oh, no. <laughs> oh we have this like, really cool idea for this transition thing no. we forgot yeah, so that's we, not lame <laughs> well we didn't get lost my theory about going downhill worked we're back on the because wow. we're back on the main street now, um, which is really easy to get to the hotel because the hotel's on the main street, so no problem. Awesome. You know those streets were really confusing in there, and every single building was blue, so you didn't know where you're going. But if you keep walking downhill, you'll 
you find where you need to go. I'm an expert navigator. Who needs to go to the gym while oh, you're traveling? We can just come to Morocco. <laughs> Walk up a million steps. We're at this restaurant for lunch. Look how much bread they gave us. You always get so much bread here. You can like order the smallest thing on the menu. And you also get bread. They give you a bottle. Have a look at that bubble. Look at this cup. Look at this stuff they give you with the bread. Getting some fresh orange juice. It's cutting them up for us. It's gonna be good. How's that fresh orange juice? It's fresh. Mm. It's so sweet. Really? We're starting our hike up to the mosque and we're at the water spring now. I think it's kind of like a little water fountain type thing. So all these people here doing washing and stuff. It's pretty like lively area actually. There's a lot of shops and things. Yeah, we just started these steps. And Keith is going down because he wants to see if he can buy an orange, just like a straight up orange. And here is the view of the city over there and we're heading up this way. It's really hot in the sun actually. It wasn't that hot today though. But I feel like this hike could be tiring. Need some fuel for the hike. An orange. Two dirham for an orange. I don't know how much. That, oh, that's expensive but... Oh. Oh, it is so hot in the sun. We're in the shade of this tree right now and it feels glorious. Oh, yeah. Orange. Orange is good. It's all over your beard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how far we are up we are, but I can see the mosque like over this hill up ahead. So the sheep. Oh, there's a shepherd. Uh, all right, let's keep going. Our friends. Oh. Our sheep friends are down there. We've started walking. Look at the view. Whew. See the wall around the town as well. Is it? Yeah, oh, I see. Is that where the old fortress would have been? Like along here. Can you see that, guys? Uh. Onwards. Made it to the top. We're camping at our spot for the sunset. This is the view though. It's pretty spectacular. And this is the old Spanish mosque. We're just waiting for that to turn into a sunset. So we stopped in on our way back from the temple. We stopped in for some soup and honey cake. The guide said it's sort of a local thing. This is good. It's good soup? Yeah. Okay. So that's the honey cake that Sally's eating. It's a really famous Korean snack. It's exactly like it. Mmm. And the guide said that they make it during Ramadan and they have it in the morning so the sugar helps them get through the day. So we're back at our hotel now and we just had dinner. That was so cheap. That was 14 dirhams which is equal to roughly two dollars. Two dollars. So cheap. I mean mind you we weren't that hungry though so it was a pretty small dinner. Oh my god the battery's flashing. Ah! Anyways we just want to say good night and bye and thank you for watching. And we will see you tomorrow. We're going to Fez and it's meant to be quite nice there. And um, we're also passing through this Roman fort thingy. I don't know what it's called exactly. I don't know what it is. I looked it up before, but now I've forgotten everything. So we'll see you tomorrow where you can find out what that's all about. Bye.